How to permanently delete any custom recovery like TWRP, Orange Fox, Peace Black, etc. and revert back original stock recovery. Hello everyone, welcome to Cracksoid. If you are facing issues with your custom recovery or simply want to return to manufacturer's default stock recovery, this guide will walk you through the process step by step. So sit back, relax and let's get started. I have installed Evolution X ROM on my Redmi Note 9 Pro Max which is based on Android 13 and I'm going to remove the custom recovery that I have installed on this device. So first of all we need to enable USB debugging. If you have installed custom ROM on your phone then I'm pretty sure you know how to enable USB debugging as well. But in case if you don't know then I will quickly show you the process. Simply go to settings section, enter into about phone section, there you will find build number simply tap on it about 10 times then developer option will be enabled on your phone then go back and enter into system setting you will find developer options simply tap on it now scroll down and you will find usb debugging option make sure this usb debugging is enabled now after enabling usb debugging simply reboot your phone to the bootloader or fastboot mode and to reboot to fastboot mode or bootloader, simply long press volume down and power button together. So now my phone is in fastboot mode. Here simply connect your phone to the computer using USB data cable. In this method, I'm showing you to remove custom recovery using a computer. You can also remove custom recovery without using a computer. And I've already made a video to delete custom recovery without PC. You can watch that video from the description section below. So after connecting phone with PC, now let's go to the computer. So we are in computer and here in computer you need to download these files from the description section. This first one is ADV setup, second one is official stock fastboot ROM file and make sure to download ROM file that is made specifically for your device. But if you download a wrong ROM file then you may hard break your phone. So make sure to download official stock ROM file for your specific phone model from a reputable source. And then this third file is a platform tool zip file that we will extract later in this video. So first of all right click on this ADB setup and run it as administrator. Then CMD panel will open. Here simply type Y button on every command and hit enter button. It will ask you for three times. Now click on next and click on finish. So ADB divers are successfully installed on our computer. Now we need to extract this platform tools zip file. Simply extract it with the help of any extractor that you like. And as you can see, it's extracted. Now it's time to extract ROM file. I will extract it with the help of WinRAR extractor. If you face any problem to extract, then convert the ROM file into a zip file by changing its extension to zip. Then extract it. During extraction, I will assist you in finding and downloading right ROM file for your device. Simply go to Google and source your device name along with fastboot ROM or stock ROM at last. Here on the screen as you can see, I have typed Redmi Note 9 Pro Max fastboot ROM. Similarly, you can source for your own phone and the list of different websites will appear and make sure to download from our official and reliable website only. I have found this website and I'm using this website from a long time. So I will click on this link and I will scroll down. It has shown me the list of all the version of ROM file that is available for my device. I will source for the latest fastboot ROM and click on it. Again scroll down, here you can see the file type which is fastboot and here is the link of the fastboot ROM for Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Simply click on it to download. So in this similar way you can also download ROM file for your device. Now I will go back and extraction process is completed as well. Now open that extracted folder and enter into images folder. Here scroll down and source for recovery image file. You can also press R button from the keyboard to easily access it. So this is the recovery image file. You can also see its type. So I will simply copy this recovery image and go back inside that platform tools extracted folder and paste it here. Now click on the blank space on the address bar and type CMD and hit enter. Then command promote will appear. I will arrange them side by side so that it will be easier to see you the further process. In this CMD we need to type two commands only and our first command is fastboot space devices and hit the enter button. Then some random numbers will appear which indicates that our phone is connected to computer in fastboot mode. 
now type another command and this is very important command so simply type fastboot space flash space recovery space and then drag this recovery image file from this platform folder into this command promote and then hit the enter button from the keyboard and in few seconds the flashing process will be finished now our working computer is done so let's go to our mobile phone now in this phone we need to reboot it to recovery mode and in most of the phone to reboot to recovery simply long press and hold power button and volume up button together until you get your phone's boot animation so as you have seen this is the stock recovery that this phone comes with and in the similar way you can also remove custom recovery and revert back original stock recovery on your phone we have learned how easy it is to remove any custom recovery and revert back to original stock recovery this simple process will helps to keep your phone in its original state and remember to always back up your data before making any major changes to your phone and also back up recovery image file of your phone before proceeding to these steps. And if you don't know how to back up images file like recovery image, boot image, system image without rooting your phone, then you can check my video in the description section and can easily do backup of image file. And I want to say one more thing. I forgot to show the custom recovery that I have installed on my phone before removing it. As I have latest Android 13 Evolution X installed on my phone, so surely I have installed a custom recovery. And the custom recovery was Orange Fox recovery and I forgot to show you before removing it. And sorry for that. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this video and if you do then hit that like button. Comment below if you have any problems, suggestions or queries and share this video as well. And if you find this video informative, you can support us by subscribing to our Cracksuit YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.